Welcome again everyone, so I'm going to show you in the previous video I showed you how to set up the authentication with LDAP with the big server so uh, most of, uh, I'm going to show you how to reset it if something happens like if you, if you forgot your password or something uh, in the configuration goes wrong and you cannot get in again to your Zabbix web interface so as here the administration and users as we can see here for example a test here you cannot reset the password because you you set up as a LDAP you set the authentication as a LDAP so here you can you make it simple you can update it from the so um, the web interface but if you cannot update it from here how to update it from the database so I'm going to show you here So select all from config, and we can see everything is here: the LDAP and the port and DC and the user and the password. And here, everything is here. So how to reset this one? So this is the command here. I'm going to put it in the description as well. So just like this and exit and you restart your Zabbix server and the users as our user here and you can change the password from here But what happen if you cannot you log out and you cannot get in the web interface anymore so there are another command because all the users here I'm going to copy this one here and I will start here and so here see here there are an admin and for the Zabbix this is the administrator and the a test and the hash md5 hash so if I want to change it from here like I cannot sign in again like I will do like a test and put it in password and you cannot log in again so you can reset the password from the database so here as an example here test and you put your password for example password and it changed it so we don't our command again okay so exit and we start your Zabbix server again So a test and password and here you go. It's really really simple. If something happened really you cannot change it from the web interface or you cannot get into your web interface again. So this is really really simple. We can do it from the database. And thank you for watching and if you have any issues just 
give me send me a message or write in the comments and thank you everyone